you're also talking to them about, okay, when we finish playing here, uh, these are going to be things. You remember stuff that coaches told you, you know, junior high or high school. What is it that, that you want to, to lead with the players now? Well, one, I want them to have great relationships with one another. That's part of the special thing about sports. And uh, part of the significance of the win the other night is John Marshall has been so accomplished for for this year and for so long. That's why beating a team like that means that much more. But it's something that I want you guys to be able to enjoy and talk about 25 years from now. Now, we got a lot of basketball left, so we're not in the moment where we should be reminiscing at this point. But ultimately, I want them to have great relationships with one another. And then hopefully they learn that if they come together and focus on their role, that they can do great things as a group that they might not be able to okay. do individually. All right, guys. You, now, it's one thing to take an L on the road. I mean, hey, that's what happens. But you ain't letting them come in our house and do what they did before. So let's talk about getting ready. What was that? What was that speech like? Yo, guys, all right, now we ain't playing at this time. Um, we we didn't switch it up too much. Um, we know their basketball team just like we're a basketball team. They put on their shoes just like we put on their, our shoes. So we just um come in there with a strong mentality. You know, we got to be tough and just uh, fight the whole game. So last year they got up quick. What happened when they didn't get up quick? And next thing you know, they notice you guys aren't backing down because they, they got the name. What happens when you start looking and you see, I don't care what, you're here to play. We're going to do a game today. I mean, I just I just feel like we like all of our heart was in it. I feel like they came in a little complacent thinking it was just – Oh, they thought they was going to roll in and get a, a dub and, and roll out. All 17 of our players – Maybe the only people in the gym who thought we were going to win, but we truly believed in. We all bought in. So wait a second. Didn't you have – your fans were there? Yeah, but, I mean – Come on, man. You're looking up. They got doubt, too? I mean, when it started down 9-0, even my brothers told me that it was looking a little rough at first. A little, little rough. Then, okay. So now, all of a sudden, when does everybody in the stands know we're going to take this thing? At what point? Um, I believe – um, our first point was Darius Gray in the three, and then we um just got on a little run, and we finished the quarter, I believe, down one. So I think from there on. You start, people start to believe a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we get to the end of the game, and you win. What's that moment like on the floor between you and the team? Um. Well, obviously, we got to wait for the horn to go off. but uh, Did somebody throw the ball up in there like they do? I did. Oh, come on, man. Is that okay? All right. The ball's thrown up in the air. Yeah, emotions are a little. They were there. Um, they were there, but okay. um, it was a great moment, and um, we all um loved the experience. I bet you did. I guess the fans were with you now. Yeah, yeah, but they were there. That's something about us fans, you know what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we'll turn, but then it's okay. We're there. Okay, so what is this about? There was a dance. Oh, uh, now I'm the brother without rhythm. So you know when I see somebody busting out with a move, I'm like, yo, go ahead for it. Let's talk about the dance. What happened? I mean, I don't know. I'm just a reporter, man. I'm just here, you know, getting the facts out. I don't know if it was that too good of a dance, but one of their players, I believe it was number 23, he had just hit a free throw and looked at the student section and just started no. doing something with his feet. Then next play, I hit a three right on him, and I just tried to replicate and stare at him. What happened when he looked up at you? I mean, I could tell he was mad because having to guard him, he was just trying to put me in the post, but... At that point, I knew that this was going to be our game. Okay. So you guys are celebrating. Everybody's going crazy out on the floor. What happens when you get to the locker room? Um, I feel like us as players are just waiting to um give Coach a water bath and throw a whole bunch of water on him. Does Coach up. have moves that he could get away, or you got him? Um, he did a little trick on us where he came through the back door, but we got him. Good. So you, you, knew, you knew they were waiting. I knew they were waiting, and I, I had a little fun with them. And I knew I was going to get wet. You know you were going to get wet. So I, I snuck up on behind from behind the. Okay, so wet. you beat them. John, what was it like when John Marshall when they walked off the floor? I bet they were salty. They they uh, it I I, I thought it was mutual respect. Yes, I mean, it was obviously disappointment. It was one of those games where, you know, no team wants to lose. They both battle hard. Um, I think it was mutual respect for the players and the coaching staff. Um. And and uh, 
yeah, they're going to have a great season this year. So you finished that game. When you realized that there was a whole bunch of hoopla coming about because, you know, the town's going crazy. How long did that take that the word got out that St. Chris beat John Marshall? Um, Probably as soon as the game finished. I know Um, I didn't get to my phone until a little later than So your phone had blown up? Most people, but yeah. Your phone blew up. What happens when y'all walking down the hallways at, at school now? Yeah, what what's that walk around like the day after? I mean, there has been a lot of praise, but I feel like it's important for us to keep our heads steady and not get complacent about it because we still have so much of the season. Okay, coach. Day. Now we got to now you got to bring them back. Right. Okay. Now that's just the coaching part. Because now being from Philly, I always say a lot of great dynasties won one in a row. Yes, right. my Eagles. Right. Yes, we won one in a row and dismantled everything because we got too carried away. Okay, Coach, now you see them. They're flying high. Everybody's just like, yo, we balling. We balled out. Now you got to bring them back. Like, okay, y'all don't start believing all the press. Let's talk about that side of coaching. So yesterday, it's not a perfect comparison, but we talked about how in the NCAA tournament, college basketball, every team that plays in the NCAA tournament is a really good team, and most are conference champions. So they have to go from the excitement of winning a conference championship on maybe a Saturday or Sunday to playing their opening round games on a Thursday and a Friday. So for us, the timing of, of a win like this is good because we start league play today. So right now we are zero and zero. It doesn't matter that you beat John Marshall. What doesn't, happened, what the happened, team is, doesn't care. That was all preparing for league play and making a run in the state. And so we're zero and zero, and I think we've got a mature team. Uh, we also know that now, because we we beat John Marshall, we are going to have a bullseye uh, next to our name on the schedule, and we're going to be taking everybody's best shot. Are you guys – I'm not going to say you guys are UMBC, but, uh, you know, hey, when a 16 can't beat a one until it happened. You know, when you guys took down John Marshall, everybody's out looking at you now. So when teams come to your place, or they're just going to try a little bit harder. As a team, what do you guys focus on now going up now that league play starts? Um, just um, not getting away from the game. That was the standard, and now we got to play to that level and that with that physicality every game. So um, this will be our first go. Real quick, let's talk about the recruiting process. Why VCU? Um, the coaching staff was great. Um, as soon as I met them, um, clicked together, and um, just felt like home. It does. So being in the stew, yes, it is some it's some energy. It goes a shout out to uh the coach as well as to the band, uh the Peppers. Yeah, shout out to the director Ryan from the Peppers. You know what? Uh, I I enjoy it. that's a big part of the me going there. So uh shout out to him. All righty. So recruiting process. What what what's on the horizon for you? You know, this is your junior year. Start looking. I mean, it's still pretty early, and I still have a lot of work to be done, but. Just trying to take it as far as I can. 